In a few days, Xbox will be hosting another Developers Direct. We're supposed to be hearing from Machine Games, who are working on the Indiana Jones game, Obsidian, uh, who will be showing off more gameplay from Avowed, Oxide Games will be discussing Aria History Untold, and Ninja Theory will show off some behind the scenes stuff with Hellblade 2. This is really cool and all, but you know, I doubt this is going to be the only stuff they talk about at the Direct. I think this is a great time for them to announce some big games that might be coming up in the future, or at least talk about some of the games that were revealed almost four years ago. At least that's what I think they should do. These directs are usually between 30 minutes to an hour long, and I don't think all that time will be dedicated to just four games. So let's talk about a few games that I think, and honestly, that I hope will be at the Developers Direct this year. So I'll start with the zombie survival game State of Decay 3, which was announced almost four years ago. We have yet to see any kind of update from it. No gameplay, no word from the developers or Phil Spencer, nothing. For me, this is very irritating. I'm a big fan of the franchise, and I've put hundreds of hours into it, so I'm kind of anxious to see what's coming up next for the game. And can you blame me? After it was announced, I really wasn't expecting not to hear from it for this long. It was getting to the point where I, I thought it was cancelled. Now, I recently learned that the engine is going to be running in Unreal Engine 5, which wasn't released until two years ago, two years before the game was actually announced. So I assume this is the reason why it's taking so long for us to hear anything from them. But I think it's time someone said something about this game. I'm hoping this doesn't turn out into another Crackdown 3 situation. Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl is another game I'm hoping to hear from. Not because I haven't seen enough gameplay or that I'm worried about it, I, I just want a release date. Everwild Eternals is a game being developed by Rare that was announced almost five years ago, and I still have no clue what it's even going to play like. I don't even know what it's going to be about. This was another game that Xbox has announced before it was even ready to be shown to anybody, but the trailers look good, so I'm at least curious to see what this game actually is. How long this curiosity will last? Well, who knows? But you know, it's Rare. I like their work, so I'm at least going to give this game a shot. Hopefully, we see something about it at the Direct. Contraband is yet another game that was announced long ago, and we have yet to see any kind of gameplay from it. And I really, really wish Xbox would stop doing this. I don't know why this has become a thing, but they need to stop. They just announced Marvel's Blade last year, and it's not coming until 2027, apparently, unless it gets delayed. Who knows? Anyways, the only thing we know about Contraband is that it's going to be a co-op smuggling game set in the 1970s. That's it. I don't even know why I'm so interested in this game. Avalanche Studios is a developer, and I've only played two games from them, Mad Max and Rage 2. So it's not really like I'm a big Avalanche Studios fan. But I guess those two games are at least a good enough reason for me to be interested in whatever Contraband is going to be. Maybe it's going to be an extraction shooter like Tarkov. Who knows? Now, I would mention newer games like Fable, South of Midnight, or Clockwork the Revolution. But to be fair to these games, they were just announced last year. And I'm pretty sure we're not going to see anything from them until later on this year. For now, I want to shift from known games that I want to see at the Direct to unknown games that might be announced at the Direct. There are a few of Xbox's teams that have been suspiciously quiet over the last few years, one of them being its software. Now, I do believe their silence is due to them fully releasing Quake Champions back in 2022. I don't play the game, so I don't know how often they talk to their community about their updates or whatever, but I did just look on the website a few days ago, and the last bit of news from them was in August of last year. So this might be the time we hear about a new game, whether it's going to be Doom, or maybe they'll take over Rage from Avalanche and do that. Now, I don't know about you, but that would be greatly welcome to have a new Doom or a new Rage game, a good story-driven first-person shooter game. You know, companies like Halo or Call of Duty, they don't do that anymore. They'd rather push out half-assed multiplayer experiences than a good FPS story, something it has never honestly had an issue with. Now, to be fair, at least Halo is doing their best to improve the multiplayer. Call of Duty, I, I don't care. Fuck them. Now, while Doom and Rage are great FPS franchises, they aren't the only ones underneath the umbrella of Xbox. Machine Games is already going to be there talking about the new Indiana Jones games, but they're also supposed to be working on a new Wolfenstein game. The last Wolfenstein game I played was Youngblood, and I never actually beat it because of the poorly implemented RPG elements, something that I hope they never, ever do again. The next game just needs to give us a great story with BJ's daughters, and that's it. Keep the co-op, lose the RPG elements. The Coalition of 343 might show up there, but I'm not really a Gears fan, and I don't have any clue what the Coalition has been doing. And as for 343, I know I just gave Halo a break, but unless they're doing a new game or some Halo Infinite Story DLC or something like that, I don't care what they're doing. They are more than likely going to just announce some more multiplayer stuff. I was going to make another joke about Xbox announcing another game four years before it was even ready to be shown. Um, being, it's, I'm talking about Perfect Dark being worked on by The Initiative. But The Initiative just got their Twitter page verified, so maybe some news is around the corner for us. So we'll move on to Double Fine, who has not been seen since 2021 after the release of Psychonauts 2. And you know, I have no clue what they're doing. I know in 2022 they said they wanted their next game to be an original game, and they also mentioned something about doing something special for the 25th anniversary. Then there was this tweet that popped up a few weeks ago. 
so there's a good chance they're going to be at the Direct as well. I personally am hoping it's a sequel, but, you know, I'm curious to see what they come up with when it comes to an original game. And that's it. Those are all the teams I expect to be at the Direct in a few days. I didn't mention Mojang or World's Edge because they just released a game last year. I don't think they're going to have anything ready for us right now. Plus, they're only working on things from Minecraft and Age of Empires. It's not like we already don't know what they're doing. Overall, I am very excited for this first Developers Direct by Xbox. There's a lot of things that I cannot wait to hear from. The most important thing I think they need to do is set a good roadmap for the next two to three years, and they need to say something about all these games that they announced four years ago. Something has to be said about them. I mean, seriously, look, Contraband, Hellblade, State of Decay 3, Everwild Eternals, these games were announced damn near five years ago, and we still don't have release dates. We don't even have gameplay. Marvel's Blade is another game that's been announced, but it won't be coming out until at least 2027 if that isn't delayed. I think I said that already. Outer Worlds 2 was announced three years ago, but likely won't be seen for another year or two. Elder Scrolls 6 probably won't be here until 2030. I'm glad Xbox now has all these teams working on all these games, but they have got to stop announcing them so soon, especially when they're not ready to be even seen for another four years. But that's all I have for today. Please share your thoughts with me down in the comments below and tell me what games you're looking forward to coming out this year. If you did enjoy this video and you want to see more from me, please hit that subscribe button to join the Dominion. Yep, that's what we're calling this community now, the Dominion. And don't forget to leave a like. I'll see you in the next one.